Hey, what's up everyone? It's Silent Doom, and here to give you a Brawl Hacking tutorial video. Um, we've had a little, I guess you could call it a recent breakthrough in Brawl Hacking, where we can finally add graphic effect models to PSA files, which is something that PSA has been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, Eternal Yoshi wrote a written tutorial, tutorial on it on KTMM if you wanna check it out. It's also on Smashboards. If you wanna check it out, I'll leave the links in the description below. And but this video tutorial is just it's just here to make it a little more accessible, a little easier to understand, you know, and it's it's nice to have videos of good things. So anyway, in this tutorial I will be adding a graphic to Toon Link, a Canon graphic to Toon Link that I made uh, quite a while ago actually but um... yeah this method allows us to add graphics to characters without having to replace any because before we've always had to replace graphics and now we have the freedom to add them uh... for this tutorial you will need the latest version of Brawlbox which is 0.65c you will need a version of PSA like 2.1, 2.65, 2.7 doesn't really matter and a hex editor I'm using HXD. You can use Hex Workshop. I just HXD is my one of preference. Anyway, so the first thing we need to do is open up our two link dot pack and export the miscellaneous data zero. This one, the EFLS file. I've already exported it um, since. Oops, actually, wait. Let me delete this. We want to keep that for later. That, that's our reference point for later. Okay. Imagine you didn't see any of that. I can't be bothered to edit this out. So imagine, here's our clean fit to link.pack. Totally clean. And here is our EFLS file. Basically, this is the main resource for the graphics for a character. A lot of them are null, but this doesn't really matter. I don't know why the names are null, but they, they're all labelled to something. And for Toon Link, he has 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And they start counting from 0. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that means he has 9 graphics in here in total. Oh, no, sorry. No, no, no. Ignore that nine. That nine is important, but not for now. Um, he has ten graphics overall, and five of them are models. Five of them are graphic models, because they're numbered one, zero, one, two, three, and four, as you can see here. So what we're going to do is add a new Brez model file, but first we need to edit the EFLS file. So we export that, I already have here, so I don't need to again. And we'll minimize Bullbox for now. Now let's open HXD or the hex editor that you want to open up. And let's go to the EFLS file that we just exported. Okay, so here's how it goes. This section, before you get to the words, this section is basically um, the offsets of the stuff the offsets and where they will go and you know how many graphics are in there. This top line dictates this top line at zero 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 dictates how many graphics are in the file. Particularly these two values here at offset H05 and 07. 05 dictates the total number of graphics in the file as we counted before, there were 10, so it's A. If you don't know hex, 0, you get 0 to 9, which is normal. And once you reach 10, it's A, B, C, D, E, F to 15. And then it gets to 10, it's 16. And then for offset 0, 7, it's 0, 05. Because that's how many res models there were in the two link dot back. We had 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So since we're adding one more, we need to change these. We need to add one to both of them. So this changes to OB. Oh, 
before I do that, let me close this. I'll reopen it later. Save changes. Okay. And we add one to both of those, so they go to OB and 06. Now, to add our actual line of graphic. What we want to do now is go here to the top of um, where the writing is. This writing basically is just the names of all the graphics and the names of all the graphics given offset values. We're going to go to here, go to edit, insert bytes. You want to insert 10 bytes because that's an entire line. 10 is, well, 16 in hex, which fills all the gaps from 0 to OF. So we click OK, and we've got a new line. This line, by the way, it has to be at the bottom of all this, but at the top of all this. So it needs to be sandwiched in between. Reason being for that is because if it's below this, it counts as a name, and we don't want this stuff to count as a name. But we want it to be above, we want it to be below all this stuff because it will count as the last, it will count as the latest graphic in the EFLS file. Now we get to editing it. As you can see here, it's um, with column 0, 0, 0, 1, uh, ignore 0, 2, it doesn't really have significance, 0, 3. We either have like an FF, 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 or we have actual numbers here. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4. Now remember the graphic models in the um, Brez file was 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Bleh. These um, assign themselves to the graphic models in the fit to link.pack. The FFs, these are the graphic models that don't have Brez models. So they're just kind of, they just have, um, they're just there, basically. They just have like, two, they're just 2D graphics or they don't have physical models that we can edit in Brawlbox. But we want a graphic with physical models that we edit in Brawlbox. So as you can see on column 0, 1 and 0, 3, they have the numbers 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, etc, etc. Since this will be the next graphic, we want it to be 0, 5. Because that's 5 is after 4. Basic maths. Yeah. So we'll just fill in 0, 5 and 0, 5 on offsets 3 and 1. The next significant offset is 0, 7. Um... Basically, these account to the name offsets. If we go to here, click here, you'll notice that this says CO, but it was BO, BO here. That's because of the fact that we added a new line. Because of, uh, it was BO before, and we added a new line of 10. What this means is that before we, ha we have to change all of these and add 10 to all of them but it's only for the ones that have values ignore the ones that just say 0 0 so we go to here and we change BO to what it says here in the left hand corner CO so that becomes CO go down to C4 it's this graphic here so it changes to D4 it's the start of it's, it's the graphic counts right after the period, or the full stop. That's the beginning of the graphic name. And that's where this offset counts. So for here it's E4, we change this D4 to E4. And we change this E9 to F9. Now what about this line? What do we put here? Well, that is where we type in the name of our graphic. So, since it's a canon, let's call it PTC Toon Link Canon. That's a fitting name. And end it with a zero zero here to give it the uh, full stop. If you just type the full stop in, 
it comes out as 2e so you don't want that you want it as 0 0 because that allows for the brakes 